Yo guys, what's up? Sorry for interrupting before the video even starts, but I want to make sure to let you all guys know that I am partnering up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group. If you want to get some comp games, link to that is in the description. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, no face cam. I don't feel pretty today. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know why I'm not putting face cam, but I just didn't feel like it. So, yeah, that's don't really have a reason but i want to talk about some things that i have to announce and then we'll get into the video so first of all i want to stream this weekend weekend late christmas uh friday it's like the day after christmas it's the 25th that's when i'm gonna start playing weekend league so i want to make sure you guys all know that it's gonna be live over on twitch link is in the description you guys already know if you've been following the channel i've been announcing it pretty much every video so make sure to follow over there and today I'm just going to show you a couple of things, how to defend gun bunch. Actually, I just recognized, I just see that I'm in the wrong playbook. So give me a second. I'm going to switch playbooks. But yeah, just make sure to follow the Twitch. Turn on notifications over there so you get notified when I go live. And also on the YouTube channel, even though you see me having higher production quality, make sure to also subscribe, turn on notifications. It would just really support me a lot. And I appreciate it. Also, uh... It's pre-Christmas, it's like the last day before Christmas, so all you guys out there, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I know it's some pretty tough times with COVID and everything, it's tough to visit your family. It's dangerous, and everyone who does it is at your own risk, of course, but I want to make sure that everyone enjoys this Christmas. It's hopefully a pleasant time, uh, kind of like making the rest of this uh, year a little bit easier to deal with. No, it's a tough year, hope you have a Merry Christmas, but now let's get into the video. Alright, now this video is also going to be about defending Gun Bunch. The last video I did on this channel also was about defending Gun Bunch, but now I'm gonna do it out of Big Nick OBG. Very important, you have the opportunity to defend it out of 35 and also Big Nick OBG. I'm currently in the 46 defensive playbook just because it's the playbook I like. A lot of people are running it. There is some debate about which one is actually the better one. The, uh, Miami is pretty popular, but I like 46. Uh, and if you guys want to do what I'm doing, uh, that's what I'm running. I'm just gotta reorder the depth chart and the reason why you want to be able to defend gun bunch out of 55 normal and big nickel over g is because sometimes people go into the 212 personnel so they sub in a uh, halfback at wide receiver in the gun bunch formation which would allow them to audible down now obviously that would make the run a great threat and i personally just feel very comfortable defending uh what's its face uh defending gun bunch uh, and also being able to defend the run of one formation, not having to audible, uh, to audible around. You can, if you want, defend uh, this, the run out of uh, Nickel 55 wide, so you, uh, my bad, run controller. Uh, if you come out in 55 normal, you can audible to 55 wide, and it shouldn't really be an issue. But I feel more comfortable against people who want to uh, run the ball on me while in gun bunch uh, out of being Nickel OBG. Now, the first thing we have to make sure when we're on the defensive screen is we go to packages, Flick the right stick to the left once, so we get to slide cornerback. Now, let's make some adjustments. We want outside linebackers or middle linebackers. If you have, some, I have Sam Mills and uh, Jadavion Clowney out here in that spot, and I want to make sure that I have some good people. So wait, 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 I actually have to change a couple of things. So we want to go make sure that both our safeties are in here. We want to have safeties at this at these spots. Then we want Fred Warner and we want Quan Alexander. Why not? And then we want our two pass rushers, which are going to be ends in here and a weak arm set in here. Now, cover these guys going to be the play, and we're going to come out in a uh, bunch offset. So I always, I never say it correctly, gun bunch offset and gun bunch, just a normal gun bunch. They're very similar, but also there's some things that are kind of unique to bunch offset that I want to show you in this video. I'm also going to do a video on how to stop regular bunch out of, say, the Seattle playbook. But for now, we're talking about Double post, for example. Um, the thing about uh, out of the Carolina Panthers playbook, the gun bunch, it is very versatile. It can be very difficult to stop just because there's so much to go to. And I kind of want to show you my base coverage, and then we'll talk about some specific adjustments that we can make. First of all, we want to pinch our D-line, then slant them outside. Then we want to put this guy right here on the outside in a deep half. We want to put Fred Warner right here in a hard flat. We want to put... Uh, the guy on the other side in a hard flat. And then with Jaquiski Tart, we can do whatever we want. We can man him up on R1. We can man him up on the running back. We can man him up 
let's say on the circle if you want to then we have to if we want to cover the double post then we have to move them out and then we got to use a uh, user ward and then we put this guy on a blitz we have two people rushing right now there really is debate about what's better against Scumbunch. Some people like to send heat at it and cover the hard flats and make sure that their safeties are pulled down so they ca can ca kind of cover the posts. Or play coverage. I'm more comfortable playing coverage, but I will also show you some heat. We'll start with the coverage though, and we're going to just run some uh, generic setup on offense right here. I'll just snap the ball. Boom. And now I'm going to have to cover the running back. You see how the post beat man coverage, that's going to happen from time to time. If you have a good safety with high speed, good man coverage, then it's maybe going to do a little bit of a better job. I'm just going to set this up. Uh, my bad. I haven't played Madden in a couple of days. I've been all on the 2K grind. But this is kind of like my main coverage. If you want to go really safe, uh, you can also invert Gilmore. But that is only if they have shown that they want, they want to go to cover 3 beater out of um, PA Dig Fork, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, I'm just gonna snap the ball again. I'm Dolphins, just gonna let the drag, and boom. And now you see how we do a little bit of a better job covering the post. One thing that I will say that is very misleading about how this is working out right now, in Ultimate Team, you're not gonna have this good of shots. Like, it's just not gonna happen. That's one thing that I'm very annoyed by, how it's so different between Ultimate Team and Practice Mode, because by the looks of that, you're going to get instant pressure just rushing two people. Very often, you're not going to get too much, uh, too good pressure. So, I'll just do this right now. And what you do, want to do, if there's no pressure, you want to send some guy. And then you want to kind of take care of the area where you can maybe rush the user at him. Um, you want to click in the right stick so, the, so that a uh, guy that's in coverage rushes at the quarterback. And then you kind of want to take up the void that's get, that gets opened up by that. Now this is my all-out coverage defense. Let's now go back to the play call screen and select a blitz. Uh, the blitz I'm going to be running is SS Blitz 3. And what's so nice about it is you want to have auto flip on, uh, auto flip defensive play call on. That's one thing that I have to mention. And what that'll do is my bad. <laughs> going to come on squats. Uh, what that'll do is if you see this, um, the blitz in cornerback is going to be on the bunch side. Now this is a very complicated blitz, so we're gonna. Uh, show blitz which is going to put the safety that's in the deep half down which means that immediately we want to click triangle twice and put this x guy right here in inside third remember we want to be in the slot cornerback package if we're not in the slot cornerback patches uh, uh, cornerback package we're not going to be able to put that guy in an inside third just like that you won't be able to put him in there my bad you won't be him you won't be able to put him in a curl flat that's what i meant to say so uh, make sure you're in that package, otherwise you're going to have trouble on defense. And then we want to blitz the guy that's on the, uh, this guy right here. We want Alexander, then we want to pinch our D-line, we want to slant outside. We want to use her, uh, we want to move this guy down first of all, then we want to use a uh, put board right here. We want to use this guy, and with the three rack, we can do whatever we want. The guys that are uh, out of my followers that have been uh, playing Madden for a longer time, know that three rack zones, they are really nice. They can man match, it's basically like a second user just not with as much flexibility but it, but also this zone can bait uh, and it, it can sometimes be really unpredictable that's good on defense frustrating for an offense so you can keep it on if you shade down it's gonna man match your drag if it shades over, if you shade over top it's gonna man match your post so it's very really flexible but what i like to do is i want to i like to put this guy in a hard flat if i want to send the blitz at him because this will take away any quick routes to the tight end and then after that he's gonna make have to make a um like his progression quickly because i want to show you how quickly the blitz gets in you just want to get into, into that gap and engage really quick with the center and now you see the blitz is in now obviously we're sending a lot of people so there are going to be some voids in the zone don't get uh, discouraged by that which is why you want to mix in that blitz smartly uh i want to just show you the blitz one more time i'm gonna snap the ball right here boom a lot of people like sending out five routes and this absolutely kills five routes that are being sent out out of bunch usually unless you're running specific plays and then of course it gets a little bit more difficult but for, just for the sake of the, this video this is fine for us but we also want to be able to um run run uh zone coverage out of this all our coverage all our coverage so in that case we would do something like this and boom now we have all our coverage um i want to walk you through this process step by step it really is just about 
understanding the idea you want to have a hard flat and a curl flat on both sides so we're going to start by pressing triangle twice bringing that x guy in an inside third and you want to put a circle uh, not tri no my bad triangle right here in the curl flat you want to put the linebacker on the left in a hard flat you want to put the blitzing cornerback in a hard flat now i know this looks like a lot oh no you want to put this guy in a curl flat put fred warner this is why we have a linebacker out there in a hard flat then we can QB spy the other guy quan alexander and you will see it looks the exact same i can even get creative and go into the gap like that engage all right but we're running max coverage so now we're going to be able to play some pass defense also with the same look as saying the blitz now obviously like that like that right there is a very good example Sometimes your opponent is just gonna have time. You'll have to play scramble drill. Just have to hope you get a shed and just cover for as long as possible. Sometimes those plays, the plays will break down. But gun bunch is so difficult to stop. And I really like my chances taking uh, the chance, like I said, of getting a pass rush in with two people but having max coverage. So one more time, I'm gonna show you the blitz because I feel like the blitz is what I run. Generally, if I come into SS Blitz 3 and then I engage and then I go back to play. Now, obviously, you have to be very precise with the timing. You want to make sure you engage with the center and then disengage as quickly as possible. But yeah, that's that. Now, I want to show you kind of like some ideas that people will do. Um, one thing that I find very annoying. Actually, let me go back to the uh, cover three sky regular. And on offense, I'm kind of come out in a different place. So cover three sky right there. Boom. And on defense, we can come, kind of come out in, uh, we can come out in, uh, mesh post, why not? Mesh post, that is one thing that I struggle against mightily. Now, I'm gonna show you the setup that I uh, showed you before. Um, so let's just go with something like this. Um, in this scenario, one thing that people really like to do is the setup. It's the same setup as last year, pretty good. Um, we're gonna snap this. And now you will see how both the running back, uh, and the post and the slant also get, all of those get open so this only works for a couple of plays generally i really like double mabel against double post it's good against that it's good against what is it good against uh z spot and go that corner out. and those are two of the main plays the thing that will kill it though is mesh post and so you will you kind of have to guess when they're running mesh post and generally a good indicator is if they're moving uh, over that slot guy mccaffrey if they're motioning him over this is generally going to be uh this is generally going to be uh why can't i remember it mesh post so now how do we defend that well that's a really good question that's a question i frequently ask myself uh one thing that i really like is putting uh is manning up ward on the running back that is one of the things that i like to do then i like to i don't know my bad i'm gonna start over i'm gonna reset the play i'm gonna pinch slant outside i'm gonna put uh, cloud flats out there which is the shade underneath shade over top with the zones and i'm gonna put this guy right in the vert hook i'm gonna man uh the wheel right up by chukis guitar i want to probably put a qb spy out there and now this is what if i know that they're running one specific setup and it's going to be this one you'll see how mccaffrey is going to get absolutely bagged and i just have to cover the post rather than user so i'm gonna bait down boom and then right there um one thing that I will say that I actually look pretty bad right there is that the slant got underneath the vert hook. That is a read that is very difficult to make, so I'm going to make the same adjustment again. And so now I'm um, going to motion the cap over. Boom. I'm going to snap the ball. Now you see I'm baiting, and then I'm going back. I was actually a little bit late there. You want to really make sure to cover the post because that is the main route they're looking for in that play. Some people focus strictly on that route. You want to make sure you get back there. But I could have thrown that slant route. If they throw that slant route, it's going to be so difficult to stop, I tell you. Um, if they consistently throw that slant route, then you have to get really aggressive. Put your hooks at 5 yards and just just try to do your best uh then the slant is going to be covered but then you're obviously going to be a little bit more vulnerable over top so that is one thing you definitely want to take a look at if they are really getting aggressive and they, not really aggressive if they really take their yards then you will have to go to five yard uh, hook curls so i'm gonna motion over now you will see how we're gonna be in a better spot to play that slant yep um obviously we're gonna give up some stuff over the top this 
this is not the perfect bag for bunch of set because I really don't think there is. Um, there's just so many things. It's just about understanding certain coverage concepts, which is the double maple, for example. Something like that. Or you can send the blitz like I showed you uh, with the uh, show blitz, split, blitz the safety that came down, hovering the gap and just send heat at him. That is one thing. And it's just about mixing it up, being smart about it. Come on, draft set. Just as good as punches in the previous years. Scum Munch is just so flexible. It's so versatile. It's a pain in the ass to stop. This is the stuff that I try. I struggle mightily against good people. Uh, but also they struggle against me. So it's kind of like a trade-off. It's Man 21 is really offensively orientated. But especially Gun Bunch offset. It is a pain in the ass to stop. I really like this setup. Uh, you can also manage him off on running back. But no, this is not the ultimate bag. If you got the takeaway that this was the ultimate bag, then I'm sorry, that was my fault. It's not the ultimate bag, but if you want to have some ideas of what you can to do to slow down some people and try to foster them a little bit if uh, the, pre the first players of their drives aren't open because you're taking away the main setups with this uh, defense, then you can kind of maybe get a foothold and then make them uncomfortable and then things start falling apart for them. Just know... Not the ultimate bag, but just some ideas and something that I like doing. Sorry for rambling on like that. I'm going to make this uncut. This is a whole long ass video. I showed you how to stop it out of 55 normal in the last video. So make, so make sure to check that out. Until the next video, also make sure to uh, be live or be ready when I go live or on Twitch. Way too long of a video. Start rambling. Use these concepts. Till next video. Goodbye and Merry Christmas to y'all.